Kim. Hello, everyone. All right. So in the last video, we talked about the print function, right? In the last in the in the, in the last two videos, we talked about the print ln function and the print function. This in this video, let's let's combine both the print print ln function and the print function to see how they both work, right? So I'm going to have a first line, okay? And I'm not going to save this. I'm I'm just going to use one file and just play around with it, okay? And it, it, it doesn't matter if we delete stuff and it doesn't matter. Let, let's just play around with stuff. All right, so the first statement I'm going to have is going to be a print ln statement. The second statement is going to be a print statement. And the third statement is going to be a print ln statement. As a matter of fact, let's, let's add one more. I copied uh, one state one line, so let's just paste it. Oops, I still have that. It's system.out.print. Um, again, don't worry about this too much. All right, remember I mentioned that um, you shouldn't worry about it too much. Just think of it as code that is already written for you by the developers or the creators of Java to help you print out stuff on the screen. But just to have an idea, remember I mentioned it in the very first video. Print ln is a method, and we know that a method is a series of related code rubbed up together and given a name. And when, an, uh, when that name is used or called, it does something. In this case, print ln prints stuff on the screen and ends it with a new line. Print prints that stuff on the, on, the, on the screen, but doesn't end it with a new line. Out, the actual term for it is an object. Don't worry about it for now because you don't we, we don't we haven't talked about that. But the actual term for it, just to have a bit of information information about it, about it is an object. And in system, to have a bit of information about it, it's a class. Um, so think of print ln as a member of out, the out object. And think of the out object as a member of the system class. Okay. Think of out and print ln as a member of the system class. Okay. So it's like a family. All right. And think of it as father. Um, <laughs> father, brother, uh, you know, little brother or something. But for now, just know that it's a series of code written together for you in the Java, something called the Java API, which has lots of code, lots of objects and classes and methods, okay, to do all sorts of stuff written for you already. And it's available to every program you write. And we'll talk about this with time. You will understand it as you move forward learning Java. For now, just Let's, let's learn the basic, let's learn how it works, let's get familiar with the program, and, and everything will just piece out, uh, piece in together, and it will, make, it will make much more sense. You'll be surprised. All right, so now let's just play around with this a bit. We are mixing around print ln and print, okay, just to see how, it, how it, um, it's going to be displayed. So based on your understanding of print ln and print, just imagine how this is going to look like, and then once I run this, you can compare and see if, if, if you got it correct. If you didn't get it correct, don't worry. We're going to see how it's, work, uh, how, it's, how it's working. I'm going to go ahead and compile this and then run it and see how it's going to be displayed. Let's pull this up a little bit. All right. So system that out of print Ellen, it printed the first line, all right. The, all of them, their job is to print such stuff. It's to print out the argument, okay, again, without the quotation. Okay, the quotation surrounds string literals. String literals are basically characters, a series of characters jumbled up together, all right? Jumbled up together um, like this, even even the space. Again, we'll talk more about it, but string literals literal are just characters jumbled up together. So it's the, all of them, their job is to print out the arguments without the quotations. Oh, yes, yeah, the string, string literals without the quotations. All right, so the first one, print ln, is printing out first line. That, that's its first job. But because of the ln here, after printing out the first line, it's moving the position, because of the ln, it's moving the position from where it's at here to the next line, because that's, that, that's, its first, that's its job. So now line one is done. Think of it that way. Line one, its job is to print out first line and then move the position from where it's at to the next line because of the ln at the end. Okay, so now line, line one is here. And then now we go to line two, system.out.print second line. So it does its job by printing out second line. Here we can see that. But because there's no ln at the end, it doesn't move the position from where it at to the next line. It stays there because, because it doesn't have ln at the end. Its job is to just print. All right, so now line two, um, sorry, line 10, you can see from here it's done. When I'm saying, I'm saying line two because that's a second system that out um, statements. The third line, which is over here, the third line over here, um, you understand me, okay? You, you know I'm talking about line 11 here, but this is what I'm talking about. The third system that out print ln statement, okay? Also, it has an ln at the end. 
so it prints out third line all right but because it has an ln at the end it moves the position from where it's at to the next line here okay and the last statement which is, is, is a system that out that print which prints the first line all right but it doesn't have ln at the end so the position stays here anything that comes after it is going to continue onwards okay so that's the difference that's a mix up of it so let's let's, let's just switch them up a little bit i'm going to change this to print change this to print ln changes to print and changes to print ln switch switch them out, out around a little bit and this is supposed to be fourth line <laughs> just for consistency all right so compile this so that we translate our code to machine language so the machine understands it now the machine language has has the class file the class file is it, the code that it, it, it understands so when i run it now let's see how it looks now okay so the first line system not out print okay it's going to go ahead and print first line all right we can see that here but because it doesn't have any ln at the end it doesn't move the position from where it's at to the next line it stays there and wait for anything that, that comes after it now guess what there's a space over here it printed the space as well so it printed first line in the space so now we are here okay now we move on to the next line which is system dot out dot print ln okay so it's printing out second line right at the end of first line because first line didn't have an ln here so when it printed first line it just waited for second line to be printed so second line a second line sorry it is this six second statement has a print ln so it's going to print out second line all right but because it has an ln at the end it's going to move the position from where it's at to the next line. And then now we go to the third line. Third line is system without the print. Okay, third line. So it's going to print third line of all right. But because there's no ln at the end, it doesn't move the position from where it's at to the next line. It stays there and waits for whatever comes after it to be displayed. And then now finally we have system without the print ln. Okay, it's print line. It prints the fourth line all right. But because there's an ln at the end, move the position from where it's at to the next line. So anything that comes after it, if there was supposed to be a fit line, it would continue on the next line. Because it was a, it's the system that out of print ln. When it's done, it moves the position from where it's at to the next line. Anything that comes after it is going to be displayed on this next this, this next line here. All right. So that's it for just mixing it out a little bit, just for you to get familiar with both of them and how they work. Um, you use these a lot. If, if not in uh, every single program you use. Uh, if not, let's say 90% of the programs you, you have um, until you learn more about, about more advanced ways of displaying output or displaying things on the screen. But you, yeah, you use these a lot, especially now that you, you are learning them. So I just wanted you to get, get a feel of it. Um, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program or next video. All right, all right then, bye-bye.